thank you all for being here this morning to pay respects to my father, Susumu. Before I go on with my eulogy, my sister Lisa found a note in his office in a folder just after he passed. It was entitled, My Final Trip. Hello, everybody. It's me giving some instructions on my way to my last stop. Hope my passing does not upset your life too much. I had a great life. You can cry just a little, but not too much. We have two plots right behind St. Vincent de Paul Church. I'll let you guys do the service details. My only wish, though, is that this be a Honda Accord service and not a Lexus service. <laughs> His final instructions to us. When I think about my dad in his 91 years, I see a man who took the best of three worlds, worlds from Okinawa, Kauai, and Orange County. We celebrate because we know that someone who's lived the life that he lived, and I use the word celebrate intentionally, although there's great grief in losing someone who we love, someone who's touched our lives in so many ways. I also know that he made an impact on you and on all of you and all of the rest of you. If you pass that to your children, and there's great joy in that. He taught us the Japanese term gaman, which means to persevere. From Kauai, he cherished the aloha spirit and extended the ohana compassion to everyone. He was very happy. He was one with the land, just like his own father. He lived up to a standard, up to an ideal that really told us all who he was. He led a remarkable life. He was grounded, humble, gracious, and fully cherished being in the company of family and friends like yourselves. You don't have to think about, oh, what would Zasuma do? You don't have to think about it, you know it. You watched him. For him, the glass was not just half full, but it was bubbling over. And you saw that every time you spoke with him. What an example of somebody who we could be. It's just amazing the connections that my father has with everyone. If we could only be a little bit more like he was. Based on everyone here today and all the love and support that we've received over the last three weeks, Dad, you're getting a Rolls Royce service today. <laughs> At this time, if you're willing and able, please stand for the playing of taps. Ma'am, on behalf of the President of the United States, the United States Army, and the Grateful Nation, please accept this flag as a symbol of our appreciation for your loved one's honorable and faithful service. I'm going to ask that all of you join us in saying Hawaii Aloha as a way of sending my dad off to his final resting place. One thing. You need to sing loud so he can hear you, all right? <laughs> Oh,
richer for having known him. You're all better. You've been formed in a better way for having a piece of him in your heart. Take that piece and do something with it. Take on that responsibility that he so gladly took on to show people how to be, how to live, and live it now. Yeah. 
been a good life. It's been a great ride, and I am blessed with the best family in the world.